Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Marie and I'm a Clothes. So I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, I will be sharing with you 30 free PDF sewing patterns that I found online that I'm planning to use with fabrics that I got from Shopee. I will put the link of the patterns on the description below so you can check them out after this video. If you are from the Philippines, I will also link the fabrics. Personally, I like watching this type of video, so I thought that you might be interested in this as well. By the way, I just would like to thank everyone that is subscribed already because just this week, I reached 1K subscribers and I'm very happy and proud of that, so thank you so much. And if you are watching this and not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. I make detailed sew-along videos using free sewing patterns. So if you plan to make your own clothes, I guarantee that this channel will help you do that. Like if you want to see more videos like this and comment down which pattern you're interested in or what I should make first. I recommend you to watch my first video since I show there 18 clothes that I made using 7 free sewing patterns so you could get info for your next week. With that being said, let's start. So the first fabric I have here is a linen rayon color is off-white. I have five yards now, but this is my second order. So altogether, I have ordered 15 yards of this. And I've been obsessed with linen recently, probably because I always visit the fabricstore.com website which is my favorite website for patterns because of their size range that is very inclusive. Most patterns have sizes from 0 to 30 or extra small or 4XL. And they also have step-by-step -step photo instructions. I wish they are available where I'm from because their linen fabrics are just so gorgeous and very tempting. So since I have five yards, I will share five patterns from fabricstore.com I will make with this. So the first pattern is the Phoebe Linen Tank. This simple linen tank is a versatile and essential staple for every wardrobe. It's semi-fitted and you can make this with just one yard of fabric. I made this before and I have a sew along with this already. If someone asks me what they should make for their first ever sewing project, this is what I will recommend. It's just so easy and satisfying to make, so I'm planning to make more. Second pattern is the Monique Simple Linen Tee. The pattern is a comfortable t-shirt that you could throw on without much thought. If you are a fan of a cotton t-shirt, this is a good alternative using, of course, linen. This will be featured on the episode 2 of the Simple But Wearable series that I have here on this channel. It's a good everyday t-shirt that you could use while doing errands or you could style it with a blazer for a more formal outfit. Third pattern is the Agostina Boxy Top. It's a simple and slightly cropped boxy top with round neckline and cuffed sleeves. It's also an ideal beginner sewing project. You can make this in a couple of hours and only need very little fabric. A great basic pattern that's guaranteed to become one of your favorites. Plus, you can make simple hacks on this to make it your very own. Like you could lengthen the hem and turn it into a dress or transform cuffs into long sleeves. Fourth pattern is the Genia Tailored Linen Shirt. We all need a button-down shirt in our wardrobe. So this is another simple design that features a mandarin color, long cuff sleeves, and button front. It's simple but so classy and timeless. If you feel like you are ready to take on a bigger project, I recommend this as you can practice making buttonholes and collar and sleeve plackets. The fifth and last pattern for this fabric is the Lewis Paper Bag Waist Pants. If you are looking for a trouser style which is both comfortable and feminine, then you'll love this high-waisted Lewis pants with a beautiful paper bag effect around the waist. They are like your favorite pull-on trousers, only prettier. Because of the looser fit, this paper bag pants will look gorgeous if paired with fitted tops. It has elastic waist and, of course, pockets. Now, the second fabric I have here is another linen rayon in another color, which is avocado green. I only have one yard of this since I wanted to check how it looks in person first before I get more. So for this fabric, I will be using the Chelsea Linen Raglan Tee. This is another great alternative to a basic t-shirt. It has a raglan sleeve and delicate pleating at the neck. 
The pattern is so simple and elegant, that is why I want to make it with a bright colored fabric. Moving on to the third fabric, also a linen rayon in black. You might have seen this before. This is what's left. I have two yards of this and I already made a PB linen tank that I hacked into a v-neck and a tear dress by hacking a pattern. But here is a similar pattern, the Avery Teared Shirt Dress. A classic shirt dress with tailored collar and semi-fitted bodice made fancy thanks to the tiered skirt. These flirty layers add an interesting dimension to the whole look and are perfect for spinning, dancing, or just looking really neat and feminine for almost any occasion. After those two projects that I made with this fabric, surprisingly, there's still extra left. So I will be using the Fred Linen Knotted Crop Top pattern on the scrap fabric. This pattern is really easy to make. It has adjustable ties that can be tied at the back. And the best part is that it is fully lined, so no visible seams. Pair it with high-waisted jeans or skirt, and you've got an Instagram-worthy outfit from your fabric scrap. Moving on to the fourth fabric, this pretty blue printed linen rayon with dainty flowers. I have two yards. And I'm planning to use this with the Anthea Milkmaid Dress from Mood Society. Mood Society is another great source of free sewing patterns, but I've heard that there are issues with pattern sizing and the lack of detailed instructions. But so far, based on my experience, most projects that I made with their patterns was a success. I like them because they are always updated with the latest trends, so their patterns are perfect for those that like to be trendy with their outfits. Before the instructions, I think I can help with that by sharing my makes with you, especially if you are new with sewing. Going back to the pattern, this style has been very popular and I want to join in and make one for myself. I can think of countless occasions to wear this cottagecore dress too, like garden parties, afternoon weddings, picnics, brunch, you name it. I plan to hack this, so instead of a zipper, I will use the full smocking method with elastic because I want this to still fit me even if my weight fluctuates. So the fifth fabric I have here is this printed silk in black with red flowers. I have two yards and since the fabric is already so gorgeous on its own, I will be using a simple pattern. My first option is the Hannah Bias Cut Dress pattern, which is simplicity at its best. This wardrobe staple should be on everyone's list of projects. This slip dress is a versatile piece to own. You can wear this as a dress this summer, pair it with a blazer to head back to the office, or just layer it with cozy sweater if it gets cold. I'm also considering the silk skirt pattern number 669 from Grassier, Grasser. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right because this it's a Russian pattern company which also offers some free sewing pattern. So the pattern is a low volume skirt of a trapezoid silhouette and it's cut on the bias. The skirt's upper edge is finished with elastic band which is folded to the inside of the garment. They have a video tutorial of making this skirt on their channel as well. Moving on to the sixth fabric, this printed matte silk which has a tie-dye design. I have two yards of this as well, and when I saw this on Shopee, I wanted to make this into a cowl neck dress, and I found this Luna jumpsuit pattern from Mood Society, which I plan to hack into a dress. I've been seeing a lot of cowl neck dress on Pinterest, and I think they are just so gorgeous and would be perfect for dates, vacations, even as a wedding gift outfit. The seventh fabric is another printed linen rayon with colorful flowers. I have two yards of this and the fabric is just so pretty that I got it even though I don't have any pattern in mind because I love the print so much. But here are the pattern options I'm considering. The first is the Coral Bell Slip Dress from Mood Society. I know that this is a lingerie pattern, but I think it's perfect as a summer dress as well, especially paired with this fabric. The second option is the Tudea Dress from Mood Society. This free sewing pattern features a simple and flattering silhouette, so it's easy to make and I think this will be perfect for flowy fabrics. 
shorten it and you got a cute mini dress or follow the original length and you got an elegant gown or maxi dress. I love the open back detail and I'm excited to make this because any chance that I can get to not use a zipper on a dress, I will take. Anyways, another contender for this fabric is the pattern number 617 from Grasser. It's semi-fitted dress without sleeves. I know it seems too formal for the fabric, but I saw a sample where they made it with a floral fabric and it worked. So if I don't use this pattern for this fabric, this pattern is still on my project list because I just love the style for work. It's giving working girl vibes. Moving on to the ninth fabric, we have here the printed cotton woven poplin. It has oranges and lemons on a white background. I have two yards. I also made this already into a tear dress and have a sew along where I have the nor wrap dress sewing pattern. But you, but you could also choose to make the pattern as is since it's also pretty on its own. It has a wrap front semi-fitted bodice, long and slightly puffed sleeves, which you can shorten as well, and a full gathered skirt. I don't know about you, but wrap dress is one of the most feminine yet versatile clothing piece every girl should have. It flatters many figures, looks great in any color, and it is ideal for any occasion, especially spring and summer. Perfect for dinner dates or casual dates. And because I still have extra left on the fabric, I will be making a bucket hat using the leftovers. I love matchy-matchy items, so I imagine wearing the dress with a bucket hat. So I will be using the bucket hat pattern from Mood Society. This pattern is fully reversible, and it has seven sizes from one-year-old to adult XL, which I appreciate because I have a small head, so usually when I buy bucket hat. It's big on me, but now I can make one for myself that will fit me perfectly. And I can make bucket hats for everyone as well as a gift. It's a great scrap buster type of pattern. Now the tenth fabric is this printed cotton chalice in dark blue color and it has strawberries on it. I have two yards of this, which is actually not what I ordered, but the seller informed me that they are out of stock of what I ordered, so they sent me this instead. I'm not 100% loving this, but it is what it is. So what I'm planning to make with this is a wrap dress, and I have three options. So first is the Emily Linen Dress from FabricStore.com. It's a pretty twirling A-line wrap dress. It features fun bust princess seams and overlapping neckline. I already made this before but with a chiffon fabric that I lined with a cheap Gina cloth and I loved it. I made my first version with a short sleeve and I think I will make the second version with a longer skirt so I'm debating between the this or the Nissa dress from Mood Society which is a wrap dress as well but it has a longer high-low skirt flowy sleeves and wrap around waist size. It's perfect for a resort trip or summer party. Or I can use this other wrap pattern that I already printed and assembled, which is the Charlotte Dress Short by Fiber Mood. By the way, Fiber Mood is a company that's all about sewing, that offers sewing patterns, if I'm not mistaken. And they offer this pattern for free, I guess, so people could try out their patterns. And if you like it, you could purchase their other patterns that are very fashion forward as well. Going back to the pattern, it has a simple top with long sleeves and romantic ruffles on the skirt. The, the ruffles on this is what really attracted me to the pattern because I have not tried that before. So comment down which of the wrap dress pattern I should make for a sew along. The 11th fabric is this linen-like polyester fabric in pink. It's giving Barbie vibes, and I have four yards of this. So I'm planning to make it into a set, a blazer and pants that I can wear for work. Everyone needs a suit in their wardrobe, be it for the office, casual wear, dress code obligation, or just to look fabulous in them. So for the blazer, I will use the Mariana Notch color jacket from fabricstore.com. 
It's unlined and has a relaxed fit with single button closure, slightly cropped sleeves, and two welt pockets. Since this is the first time I will be attempting a jacket, I feel like it's a good piece to start with, especially that fabricstore.com has very detailed step-by-step -step photo instructions on their blog. And for the pants, I will be using this Sarah pleated pants. It's a modern take on the classic pleated pants style. It's designed to fit on your natural waist. It has two small pleats at the front, back bars for shaping, useful hip pockets, a zipper front fly, and belt loops. The legs are slightly tapered and hit right above the ankle bone. Due to the number of techniques involved in this project, the pattern is labeled as intermediate, but even a beginner sewist can give it a try because I think if you have completed at least five sewing projects and have installed a zipper before, you can definitely make this. I probably will practice first by making it into a short using a different fabric before I go in with this pink fabric. But if you are not into the relaxed or casual vibes of this jacket and pants, I recommend this Ursula suit by Mood Society. It's more fitted than the Mariana jacket and gives off more serious corporate girly vibes. For me, it has the classic look of a work suit but could easily be paired with your casual clothes to give it a laid-back feel. Moving on to the next fabric, the Silk Satin Premium Chiffon in black. It's flowy. I have two yards of this and I already made this into a maxi length dress using the Balin Top and Dress pattern by Pauline Alice. The pattern is cut on the bias semi-fitted with front bust guards, French seams, and bias binding straps, armholes, and neckline. Easy to make with two lengths, it can be worn as a dress or a top. This is one of my favorite patterns, and I have made a lot of dresses using this. It's very hackable. In this black version, I even did a small bust adjustment and eliminated the bust guards, and it turned out great. We are now on the 14th fabric, which is this soft brush cotton linen. Summer fabric, the color is electric blue. So this is just what's left, which I made into a set. It's obvious by now that I like sets and matchy-matchy clothes. So the first one that I made with this is a button-down shirt using the Noah linen shirt pattern. This is another one of my favorite patterns. The Noah shirt is a modern classic that could be dressed up or down so easily and pairs really well with just about anything. This simple shirt is a combination of relaxed and classic tailored style that features a semi-fitted loose shape, back yoke, button-down closure, classic collar and collar stand, long sleeves, and cuff with buttons. You can also use this pattern for men, which is what I do. I made my boyfriend and brother a polo shirt with this. If you are making this for the first time, sew this with cotton or linen as that is easier to work with. And for the bottoms, I used the cat wide leg culette, which I turned into shorts with its high rise wide leg hidden inseam pockets and elastic waistband. It's probably the most comfortable pair of culettes or shorts you'll ever own. It was a little bit too high waisted to my liking, but you can easily adjust that by trying it first before you sew the waistband. But aside from that, the pattern is a must have. The last fabric that I got from Shopee is this soft polyester cool linen color in China blue. I have, I had four yards of this, which was a lot. I was able to make a polo shirt for my boyfriend using the Noah linen shirt and a dress using the simple mini gathered dress pattern by Angelica May. I already made this dress and I have a sew along uploaded. I made some changes on the pattern like lowering the neckline by one inch. Then instead of a zipper, I used elastic as a faux smocking at the back. If you want to make a similar dress, you can watch the sew along. Now that we are done with the fabrics that I got from Shopee, I want to show you some of the thrifted clothes that I'm planning to upcycle, thrift flip, or transform, whatever it's called. So I have here two pink blouses. So here, here's the first one.
And here's the other one that I might or might not use. The fabric feels like it's cotton linen. I love the stripes on this. And I envision this as a dress with thin straps and gathered or layered skirt. So I'm choosing between two patterns. The first option is the Matilda dress by Cool Stitches. It's a summery maxi dress, but also very easy to layer in case you'd like to wear it in colder months. It has an empire waistline, upper bust gathered detail, lined bust, zipper opening at the back, in seam pockets, and adjustable straps. The pattern is available for free, but if you'd like to support the creator, just name your price. Basically, pay what you can. Another option is the Rhea tiered sundress with sheared back from fabricstore.com. This tiered dress has a sheared back, but I'm planning to use a 1 centimeter or 1 fourth inch elastic as a faux smocking or shearing instead of an elastic thread. Personally, I think it looks better, easier, and faster to make and will last longer. So if you're having a hard time following how I hack patterns with zippers into faux smocking or shearing, you can practice with this pattern since it is designed for shearing or to stretch. So you don't have to make any changes on the pattern itself. And finally, the last on the list is this thrifted skirt with vibrant floral on it. Uh, there. It feels like satin fabric. I love its flowiness and bold print. So I will be using the Layla, Layla tunic by Mood So Tidy. I want the fabric to stand out. So this pattern is perfect because it has a simple design and will complement this flowy fabric. And that's it for all of my fabrics that I got from Shopee and 33 sewing patterns that I will be making in the future. It was a long list, but I enjoyed collecting those patterns to share with you. And I hope you got inspiration for your next makes. I will try my best not to get more fabrics until I complete all those projects. I hope you do as well. Fingers crossed since I know how tempting it is to purchase new fabrics to add to our stash. So good luck to us. I will be making sew along videos for the patterns and make sure to download the patterns right away and just save it to your sewing folder or do to do projects on your phone or computer. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe so I can continue to fill my makes. I have a goal this year to make all of my clothes using only three sewing patterns. I look forward to share those makes with you so expect more to come. I hope this video helped you gain the confidence to make your own clothes. So have the best rest of your day and remember to love yourself. See you on the next video. Bye!